What's going on YouTube? ATL JDM here and as you can see we got a full house today. But today we're going to be looking at or I'm going to quickly do a video for the AutoZam AZ1. This is actually getting sold in the next 30 minutes. Um I don't know if you guys saw the uh, last video on the AZ1, the red one that we had. I had gone over that this is a low production vehicle, so they didn't, I think the accurate, I had said the accurate number in the other video, it was like 3,400. So this is pr a pretty rare K car. They only made, you know, like I said, that small amount of them. And we're lucky to get, you know, I mean, this is our second one. We're lucky to even have gotten two of them. Um, so like I said, I'm, before this guy gets here to purchase this, I just wanted to do a real quick video, kind of showing a little bit about the car. Um, it's got some aftermarket wheels. You can see on this side, you know, it's got a little bit of a paint fade right there. Um, this is just like the Suzuki Cappuccino in the uh, red AutoZam. It's a three-cylinder, three 660cc engine. It is turbocharged. Um, the shocks, unlike the other car we had, actually do work and are pretty sturdy. Um, you got painted calipers also. And it's got it's been debadged, but I mean a lot of people are into that over in Japan. And plus when you do see this car, you are gonna know exactly what it is. Um another boo-boo that we have is right here. You know, I mean you could not much you can really do about that right now. Um and then you've got one big nasty boo-boo, which is just a poor paint job right here. Everything's all bubbly and nasty, but it's one of those things where it's a rare car, so you make uh, sacrifices. It does have a little aftermarket exhaust. <clears throat> and then the kilometers on this car, it's a uh, 185,992 kilometers. It is a high mild car. I think it does come with the uh, Blitz Racing uh, turbo gauge and then the uh, Blitz Racing um, tuning system or turbo timer. Um, aftermarket Razo shift knob, um, aftermarket steering wheel. Inside is pretty clean aside from this one tear on the driver's seat. And the one thing I f hate about this car are the fact that these pedals are tiny and the fact that this car is tiny and I'm a big dude and I absolutely hate driving this car. Um, I'll go ahead and I guess pop the trunk this is a rear engine vehicle so everything is going to be in the back <sighs> boom like i said turbocharged three cylinder 660 cc's it's even got the original uh factory stickers underneath the hood still that's always a good sign and uh yeah pretty much i guess that's it for the uh AutoZam, like I said, I was going to make this one quick because I got a guy coming and buying it in the next few minutes. The one thing I love are the facts that, or the fact that these shocks do work. It's a huge plus. Um, and then I guess I'll oh, just real fast pop the hood. And we did have to take some parts out of the hood to fix the AC. Um... So that's what it looks like without the, the front cover. Um, front cover is actually right there in front of the light ace. But I wanted to show the guy who's buying it that you know what's actually underneath here. All right guys, well, you know my rule, it's bad juju to drive something that's already been sold. So I'm going to uh, let Mr. Cameron do some driving in it. That's the gentleman that's buying this vehicle. He should be here in the next 10 minutes, so yeah. AutoZam AZ1, and this is a 1993 AutoZam AZ1. <laughs> I don't think I could go through to McDonald's with this. Be like, hi, can I have my fries? Yeah. Okay, can I have my burger? Yeah. Well, you gotta do it on this side, or you well, have yeah. to go in backwards. I've done that with the Mini. Yeah. Because yeah, it's right-hand drive, so I've gone through backwards plenty. Yeah, I always fuck with my local Taco Bell. Let's go here. Woo! Nice and cool. I 
it revs all the way to 9,000. That's absolutely insane. What's going on, YouTube? ATL JDM here, and I'm with Mr. Cameron. Hello. We are uh, driving around in his soon to be 1993 AutoZam AZ1. And uh, so, Cameron, what, what what actually attracted you to this car? Not, so, not so many people know about I, it. I didn't know about its existence until, like most people, from Gran Turismo 2. If I stole. Yeah, fair <laughs> it enough. It was in the Gran Turismo games, and I absolutely loved it, especially in 4. Okay. Um, I used to do some competent, like time attack competitions on a forum, and I would use this car every chance I could get. Okay. I loved it. I never thought I'd actually, you know, see one, let alone have the chance at one, so. All right, well, that's what we do at ATL JDM. We make dreams come true. Up here, you're going to turn right. Right. Yes, sir. That's your first time driving an AZ-1, that's right? That's my first time seeing one in okay. person. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, obviously, there's very, very few here. Right. No, you're good. Second. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh man, that turbo really kicks in. Yes, sir. Ooh. Told you it's a lot zippier than that red one we had. Yeah, it is. I can only imagine with the boost turned up because it's only on stock boost right now. Yep, yep. <laughs> I'll be mental. Try and smoke my cigarette. Oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that makes that a little difficult. Yeah. <laughs> Just a bit. Oh, it's great. It's a, I fit in it just fine. I was actually a little worried about it, but, you know, being 5'10", I've heard some people saying that's like the limit of comfort. Yeah. You know, it, it fits great. I mean, it's no no more cramped than my classic Mini. Uh, just a second here. Not yeah. this right, but uh, right coming up. You'll have like kind of a straightaway, and you can kind of like gun it and okay. get a real good feel for it. And just double take for some popos, make sure no one's coming. Now you can just gun it, brother. It's all good. And for it just being at, at, at the stock settings, you know, imagine yeah. when you like boost it up some more. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know that um, you really don't have to do much of anything to these to actually um, put it up to your 100 horsepower. Mm -hmm. Like, just bump up the boost a bit, and that's it. I You're mean, good on this side. It's kind of weird making left turns on that side of the car. That's a good thing yeah. about having car guy friends. Yeah. They have like everything. Knowledge and parts. <laughs> I have a mini wheel, but that would look a little strange. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. I agree. It's like a mahogany and you know, like mahogany yeah. and polished aluminum. That would look a little strange. Yeah. I'm sure later on down the road you'll find all kinds of stuff that you can put in here to get yeah. like your theme. Like the one guy, like I was telling you about the AutoZam project on Instagram. Yeah. He got, for these latches, he got the uh, old subway handles from the <laughs> actual Japanese rail line. Oh, that's cool. That he's got for his uh, straps, yeah. That's and really cool. Right here is left, yeah. unless you want to keep on driving. I mean, actually, I wouldn't mind. Okay, go for <laughs> it, brother. A little bit more. You waited long enough yeah, for yeah, it, right. so you might as well take you a good spin in it. It's so, it's so incredibly, like, late 80s in here. It's great. That's what I love about all the, the, the cars we get. They've got that late 80s, early 90s interior. Like the Alto Works we have, just bright oh, pink everywhere. So cool. Do you have that here? No, oh, it's no. it's actually at our uh, it's at a uh, Sam's Garage 
up oh, in okay. uh, Lawrenceville, I believe. Oh, that's, and it, it's, that's it's, really close to me. It is. It's just yeah. getting some basic work done to it before we can uh, put it online for sale. I've, I've seen pictures of that thing. That thing is so cool. And I mean, you can either turn around up here or you can just keep yeah. going straight through the light or whatever you uh, want to do, man. Traffic's picking up, but at least when we were coming through. Or if you want to just turn into this Valero. <laughs> Try the horn. What's it sound like? Does it? Um, is it a push button like a yeah, stock? Or is it, oh, it does. <laughs> so it's got a normal oh, yeah. horn. Okay. I forgot. No, actually, um, under the hood, I actually didn't even go over that in the in the walk around video. Yeah. Under the hood, they've got like an aftermarket horn th system in there. Really? Yeah. So oh. like, th that's not the original oh, horn okay. sound. And I'll, I'll I'll pop the hood when we get back and show yeah. you. Sounds so good. Yeah. I know some people don't like the sound of Suzuki engine. The best part too, I haven't even been pointing it out, is like the people who drive by and they're like, what in the <laughs> is that? <laughs> they pull up to you at lights and it's like, yeah. Hi. <laughs> like, like when we drove back from the port, we drove the Light Ace van that's in the garage. Yep. And like everyone was like, you know, like once we got through getting into southern Atlanta, people are driving up and they stop and they're just looking at us like, Holy shit, that guy's not not driving the car because you know it's a right hand drive. I feel like a celebrity when you drive this because people go out of their way to be like, what the hell is that guy driving? Because <laughs> it's so so bizarre. Yeah. There's literally nothing like this car anywhere. And only 3,400 of them ever got made, so you're one of the lucky 3,400. Yeah. There's what um. There's only two. This is the second one in the state, right? Was the red one the first one in the state? No, like there, there there have been a few that have, have gotten imported in the state. This is probably the second one that's been in Georgia, though. Yeah, that's what I mean. Sorry, yeah. not, I know nationally there's probably like a dozen or two dozen or something, but because that Georgia red one that we had, yeah, yeah, you can just go around back if you're, you can park it up here, it doesn't matter. But like uh, the one that was in that, the first one we sold, the owner lives in South Carolina and he drove down and picked it up. Oh, okay. you'll be the only, uh, so I'm the only Georgia Auto owner Zam. of an Auto Zam. Zam. Yep. Oh wow, awesome. <laughs> that's a good feeling. I know there's like two dozen minis. A lot of them are done through uh, uh, mini tech at, uh, or super fast minis in Royston, Georgia, because they do the V tech conversions. Mm -hmm. But I just uh, I know there's two or three dozen minis. But all right, guys. Well, that's it, Mr. Oh, Cameron. That's great, thank you. How'd you feel? Oh, it was one of the childhood dream come through. All right, Literally. awesome, awesome. Said, like not even joking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, YouTube. Well, that's it. We're signing off.